Yuzibo, Chuanhua, Intelligence Online, Shuangwen, Red Beans, Red, Gangsho already exists, and there will be more in the future. Stay tuned the cultivator who has traveled twice, after temporarily forgetting his identity as a cultivator, dominates the world of ninja take off the mask of the past and transform from harmony to nuclear goodness to pierce through the clan, unify the family, and lead a clan with soil. Isn't this pure licking dog? It's just a clown. Other ninja walkers are still following traditional routines, and I will directly lead the ninja world towards the trend starting from Kiba let you feel how different travelers bring change to the realm of ninja. Following Yuzibo is following the trend of the times. What era is it? Whoever has nothing to do will start a war. Let's directly crush it in all directions, move towards victory, and recast the glory of Uchiha. Chapter 1 16 years. 16 years. Finally here. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This book has a very high content of original content, and a very small amount of plot will be borrowed from the original work. There is a unified modification to the vague settings in the original work. Many of the settings that appear in the book are reasonable after I supplemented and organized them myself. The overall intelligence of the content is online, except for female characters, the author's emotional novice, with many female leads, but only a few important female characters will be described, and the rest will not be elaborated too much. The writing style tends to be humorous and lively. Advice For those who don't know much about Hokage and haven't finished the entire collection, including memories, it is not recommended to read this book. I assume that many things are known to readers, and the reading threshold may be relatively high. For those who don't have a complete understanding of the original work, they may be confused. Of course, the main road is as simple as before, and there's no problem looking at things you haven't seen before. Did ya? Also, although it's a great article, I added a small amount of fine bran. If there are any sudden operations in the article that make you feel confused, why not take a look at the paragraph review? If you understand, read it. If you don't understand, just treat it as if I'm working on it. The first 30 chapters were not written very well. I didn't write an outline at the beginning, so please be patient and continue reading. If it's not exciting after 30 chapters, you can scold me. In addition, the article contains a lot of meme elements, it depends on whether you can discover it. Remember to comment on it in the paragraph, brain storage area if you see that half of your brain is not enough, please be sure to come back and retrieve it, Chinya, remember to arrive on time for tonight's clan meeting. This is the most important clan meeting of Uchiha from ancient times to the present, which is related to Uchiha's survival. Got it, right. At 8 o'clock, I will go to Nanha Shrine to attend the clan meeting. After notifying Chinya, Yuzibo Daohua turned around and left to continue notifying the other eligible members of the clan association tonight. Only ninjas with a special level of ninja or above are eligible to participate in the Uchiha clan's guild. Whenever there are significant issues within the clan that need to be discussed, they will be summoned to decide the clan's choices and future development direction. Close the red-brown door and return to the yard, watching the two goldfish swimming in the stone pond, without worrying about the life and death crisis and intrigue in the outside world. As time passed, my parents died in the third ninja war one after another. Only Chenye, who was only five years old at the time, was left behind. Eleven years have passed, and now the only thing that can accompany Chenye is this ancient tree in the yard. It's already September, the weather is slightly cool, and the evening breeze is blowing through the treetops. Under the sunset, the leaves appear even more withered and yellow. This sturdy old tree has been remembered since childhood. Chinya walked to the brown lounge chair and lay down, resting under the tree, quietly waiting for the night's tribal meeting, while recalling memories of the past. On the day Chinya was born, when she opened her eyes and saw her tender hands, Chiba knew that she had traveled through time. The man and woman in front of her should be her parents for this lifetime. On the eve of the night of Yuzibo's extermination, 
the host successfully crossed over to the member Yuzibo Chinya who participated in the clan association. System activation in progress. Timeline error at hashtag amp. Dot. Activation failed. We will attempt to repair again after the timeline is fixed. The newly arrived Chinya has also been compromised by this system, it can't be second. Hand, can it? Over the years, with her own experience and a decent ninja talent from her parents, 16-year-old Chiba has now opened up the three Guyu Sharingan and become a standard hexagonal Uchiha Uchiha ninja. I also slightly restrained my nature and got along well with the family members. In the previous life, a person lived to the age of 70. As for why they were alone, it was mainly because although they were handsome when they were young, when couples argued, the woman always said she couldn't do it, and she never wanted to make things worse for each other, so no girl could bear it. This led to the fact that although I had nine romantic relationships based on my handsome appearance, they all ended up breaking up one by one due to being too direct with my girlfriend. After retirement, he had a good life with enterprise and national pensions. But with the rise of the internet, Chinya, who was over 60 years old at that time, decided to enter the internet industry and become an anchor with his own experience. The unique way of speaking has been favored by many young people in the new era. I thought I could just become a small and mediocre upstreamer and spend my later years peacefully. But unexpectedly, in 2020, due to an accidental cold, he broke his plan to become the first centenarian anchor and passed away at the age of 70. The sunset gradually disappears into the sky as the full moon rises. Open your eyes and look at the already rising moon. It's almost time. Return to the house and change into brand new special made battle uniforms and ninja swords. Standing in the mirror, gazing at the custom dot made battle uniform and weapon at the waist. The entire body is made of dark blue waterproof fabric, and the two sleeves are slightly wide, making it easy to hide ninja items. Behind it is the iconic red and white fan of the Uchiha clan. The fabric of the combat suit is specially made of silk thread, a special product of insect ninja animals, which has extremely high resistance to chakras. The white cloth around the waist is a ninja knife customized by a blacksmith from the Chimu family, resembling a seedling knife. The handle is 30 centimeters long, wrapped in black cloth, and also painted with the logo of a fan. The blade is 90 centimeters long and forged entirely of chakra metal. The blade is black, and its chakra conduction loss is almost zero. Even the scabbard is made of the medicinal wood of Nara family, which can prevent the blade from oxidation. Therefore, it was roast by Nara Lugio that, the idea of rich people is really strange. Although it can be done to maintain the ninja sword from time to time, but he does not want to spend time on these trivial matters. This outfit and a mess of ninja tools have almost exhausted most of Chinya's accumulation. However, Chinya doesn't feel sorry, after all, good steel flowers are on the blade, people rely on clothing and horses rely on saddle. With a height of 1.85 meters and a well-defined and robust body, as well as a handsome face that is a standard feature of the Uchiha clan, and long spiky hair on the back, this is no longer handsome, it's a mess. Having made so much preparation, Chenya is all about welcoming tonight's arrival and activating the system. 16 years. Do you know how I came through these 16 years? Without strong support, Chenya couldn't even speak freely, afraid of offending anyone and being targeted. Although this led to Chenya being pursued by a large number of female classmates during her time at ninja school, even Chenya herself enjoyed it and experienced a happiness that she had never experienced in her previous life. However, it has to be said that it is really uncomfortable not to reveal her true nature. As long as the clan activates the system tonight, their future strength will definitely take off. Finally, I can take off the mask I have worn on my face for 16 years. Be a sunny and cheerful big boy who combines appearance and interior, and adheres to his true heart. Chinya walked rapidly on the roof towards Nanha Shrine. The buildings of the shrine have lost their former brilliance after the wear and tear of time, and the same goes for Uchiha, since the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion. 
Under the oppression of the village, he struggled to survive and was even forced to relocate to the outskirts of the village. Lift up a piece of floor in the shrine and Chinya arrives at the secret venue of the clan association. In the clan association, the walls around were filled with candles, and the arriving members sat cross-legged on the ground waiting for the arrival of their fellow countrymen. The crowd remained silent, and under the light emitted by the orange candlelight, the shadows on the ground appeared even dimmer and the atmosphere became even more dull when viewed from behind the clan association. Chinya walked down the stairs from the entrance to the clan association. I am preparing to move towards my seat in the middle. Achiha. How could you be here? In an instant, the elder jumped up directly, his eyes filled with caution and fear. The man he had betrayed left an indelible mark in his heart, like a deity. Who? Where is it? The rest of the young people looked bewildered, after all, the name Uchiha is a taboo existence in the village, and only the elderly who have survived from that era and a very small number of Uchiha people know it. Chinya was also startled by this sound, turned around, and looked puzzled. In an instant, the elder saw Chinya's face and realized that he had misread, but his figure and attire were too similar. Looking from behind, only the ninja sword at the waist is different from the Uchiha clan's ancestral artifact, the Uchiha fan, which has been taken away with the rebellion of the Uchiha clan. Yuzibo Chinya. How could you dress up like this? In an instant, Yuzibo reached out to blame Chinya. Is there anything wrong with the combat uniform I'm wearing? Chinya had a friendly expression and looked at the other person. The young ninjas sitting below also don't understand. This combat uniform is so handsome that they also want to customize one. In an instant, the elder's aesthetic is really unique. Faced with Chinya's rhetorical question, it was difficult to answer in an instant. I can't say that I was scared out of my wits by Chinya's back. Humph, forget it, it's nothing. Turn your head to one side, don't want to see Chinya. Chinya walked to his seat. The time is correct, the location is correct, the event is correct, and the defense system has been activated. By breaking the opponent's defense and gaining their talent, choose whether to replicate. Chinya sat on a cattail, with a slightly raised corner of his mouth, looking even more kind-hearted. Chinya pondered in his heart, at that moment, Yuzibo didn't know what talent you had that could be used for. Chapter 2 Clan Association, Anger at Uchiha You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The candle flickered, and apart from the slight wave that Chinya had just arrived at the clan meeting, there was no further movement. The rest of the tribe also sat down and remained silent after entering. Waiting for the arrival of the last one. Dang, dang, dang. As footsteps echoed up the stairs, the sound slowly amplified. Yuzibo Fuyue walked up to the front end of Futuan and sat down. At present, there are still two vacant positions on the Futuan and his sons Yuzibo Itachi and Yuzibo Jishue have not yet arrived at the scene. Seeing that time had come, he had already stepped into the clan association to delay time. He couldn't delay any longer for these two people. Out of helplessness, Fuyue had to open the prelude to this clan meeting. Time's up, then let's start the clan meeting. With the announcement of Fuyue, some elders on both sides immediately spoke up first. Fuyue it's time. Where's your good son, Yuji Bo Itachi, who joined the dark side? Where's Yuji Bo Jishue? Where have they gone? All the clan members have arrived, only the two of them haven't come. Fuyue, take a look at the current situation in the clan. Living under the surveillance of the dark and rude all day. As the clan leader, you can't even discipline your own son well. Fuyue. Is this the result of you compromising with your tribe to the old monkey that was slain by Ape Flying Sun, and allowing Uchiha Itachi and Uchiha Shirzue to join the dark side? Is this the result of getting close to Hokage? Dot? They may have become the lackeys of Hokage. Maybe they are now monitoring the family's movements for Tuanzang and Rijiao. In an instant, Yujibwa became more and more excited as he spoke. 
He immediately clapped his hands on the table and reached out to blame Fuyue for scolding him. The elders of the main faction sitting on the left side of the clan also had angry faces. Last time at the clan meeting, with the support of Fuyue, the despicable group of Uchiha from the pro-peace camp were proud and thought they had seized the key to the family's future. But now, the surveillance in the dark is becoming more and more severe, and the villagers' disgust towards Yujibwa is deepening. Look at what foolish things this clan leader and the cowards of the peace faction have done. Fuyuan knew in his heart that the conflict between his family and the village was constantly deepening, but in terms of the current strength of his family, there was no strength to launch a coup. Not only the high dot ranking officials of Kiba, but also other ninja tribes have a distant attitude towards Uchiha. The villagers were even more frightened and turned pale when they met, avoiding each other. None of them dared to approach, and they kept writing complaint letters to Huiying behind their backs. The Uchiha police department did not suffer less trouble as a result. Under my leadership, I have chosen the wrong path. Do you, the main faction, have any better ideas? Can the current power of the family still initiate a coup? Has the previous coup been successful? Since the coup launched in the Battle of Huangquan, the elite of the family has decreased by half. In World War II and III, how many people have sacrificed their lives? What are you doing to launch a coup? There are thousands of registered ninjas from the Eight Flying Clan alone. How many of us are left to die? Do we have to take all the members of the clan and send them to death? Fuyue's words made Yuzibo lose his confidence in an instant. In an instant, he sat down again, but his face remained indignant. Then you can't compromise with that old monkey from Rijiao with your family. Bow your head in front of him and pay homage. The glory of our Uchiha. Have you forgotten the glory of being the two strongest families in the ninja world? In an instant, Yujibwa Yang Yen looked at the people below, trying to stir up everyone's emotions. That's right. Our glory in Uchiha cannot be forgotten. Chensho has disappeared. Our Azibo will surely reach the peak of the ninja realm. If we can't win the coup, we just need to rebel against the village. If we can't, our family will leave Kiba. The anger of the people below the stage was successfully stirred up by Uchiha Yang Yen. Ha ha ha, do you want to laugh me to death and then take my combat uniform and ninja sword? The laughter and words of Chinya suddenly pricked the nerves of these people. The tribe will suddenly quiet down. At this moment, I was once provoked by Chinya. Your descendants in the clan. How dare you mock the glory of our Uchiha clan. I admit you have a little bit of talent, but your performance just now, where do you place your family? Don't think that both of your parents are dead, we have to tolerate your recklessness like this. Do you still deserve our ancestors to be a member of the Uchiha clan? Do you deserve the fan behind you? As the words fell in an instant, the people around Chenya's tribe all had red eyes, and the Goyu in their eyes quickly rotated. Some even broke through from two and a half Goyu to three Goyu. Chenya sat up and opened his eyes. The jade in his eyes spun so fast that it almost formed a circle. I ask you, what is glory? Is the achievement of fighting with the dead tribe called glory? You are now living in a comfortable environment, even if you are being monitored, and you are unhappy in your heart, then you resist. You only know that you are shouting glory on your mouth. Did any of you bring glory to us Uchiha? Ku. Rebellion to the village. Whether we die in battle or flee, what will happen to the elderly, weak, sick, and disabled women, children, and elderly in our tribe? We are no longer in the future, do you expect Tuanzang and Rijian to support them? Aren't we Uchiha the ones of love? You fools who constantly think of coups. Do you still care about the lives and deaths of our people? Have you forgotten why your Sharingan was opened? Can you use your brain to think one by one? A few words can make you lose your thinking ability, calmness, and rationality. Are you still considered Uchiha ninjas like this? Do you deserve the title of Uchiha ninjas? The elders of the main faction immediately lowered their heads. 
In an instant, he glared angrily at Chinya and remembered mistaking Chinya's back for Uchiha, which made him even more angry. What a despicable little devil! How dare you make me lose face? Fuyue looked at Chinya's words and actions and felt a sense of relief. It seemed that besides Itachi and Jishue, there was another genius he had previously overlooked in the younger generation. The people sitting below also felt ashamed, clenched their fists, and some even shed tears, beating their thighs and hating their previous thoughts. Yuzibo Warehouse Defensive, Yuzibo Hangtai Defensive Accumulated 39 people breaking through defenses and gained a 10% increase in chakra damage. Chinya pondered in his heart, it seemed that the talent he had already possessed could only be replicated to obtain a slight improvement. However, this familiar state, familiar feeling, everything has returned. Chinya is so high now. Sixteen years have passed, and I have finally experienced this pleasure again. It was this pleasure that made Chinya, who retired at the age of sixty, set foot in the internet. It was a pity that he was forced to end his plan to become an up anchor. But now, everything has come back. However, Chinya is not just a person with bad taste. In his past life, as long as he was the one who was defeated by his own words, he would definitely give the other person a new plan through his own summary. As the saying goes, without breaking or standing, without breaking other people's original beliefs, how can we establish new navigational aids? As a sunny and cheerful big boy, Chinya is not an irresponsible person. Apart from those squirts in the past, they are pure, giant babies, and life is too smooth. That thousand nights can only serve as the first obstacle in their lives, let them feel what setbacks are. Seeing that only a few people have broken through the defense, Chinya is planning to put more pressure on the main battle faction and increase their efforts to provide some strong evidence. The eighth generation of the pro-democracy camp spoke out. In Chapter 3, Do You Think You Don't Need To Be Criticized? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In an instant, Elder Chinya has already said everything I want to say. In terms of the current strength of the clan, the coup is just a joke. Didn't you teach you enough lessons in the last battle of the underworld? I didn't expect that you not only didn't learn from your mistakes, but also intensified your efforts. Are you trying to make our Uchiha clan perish in this generation? Yuzibo, the eighth generation, savored the tea in the teacup and sarcastically spoke. In an instant, he threw the nearby teacup to the ground. My body trembled with anger, speechless, and I reached out to point at Ba Dai. The people below dare not speak in such an atmosphere. Even though it was what Chinya said, although it sounded discouraging, his loyalty was against the ear. Chinya was right. The eighth generation elder suddenly said such words, didn't it snatch the attention of Chinya? Chinya has never joined any faction in the family. Chinya, who stood up, originally wanted to continue teaching guys like Elder Xiang in a moment. I didn't expect the elders of the Hezbollah faction to be so shameless and say such things directly, appearing like they were the mouthpiece of their Hezbollah faction. Who is Chinya? Nature won't get used to him. What does it mean to say, I've said everything you want to say? As an elder, can you act recklessly and distort the facts? Why don't you say what you want? If you don't have the ability to come up with such words, don't flatter yourself. Don't you even look at what you've done yourself. How could you still claim to be the main peace faction? Send Itachi and Jishue to the dark side, hoping that Raju can give our family some alms and reconcile with the village. Has the relationship between the family and the village eased now? This is your clever move. It's really good. Giving away two geniuses to be dogs to the dark side for free, both brainwashed with the will of fire, with only the village in their hearts and no consideration for the family. Eighth generation elder, are you not accepting bribes and benefits from Tuanzang? When did our Azibo clan need to rely on others' alms? Throughout history, our Azibo clan has conquered with our own strength. Strong strength is the foundation of our clan. It's not about bending down and kneeling down as a dog for others. 
where have you been as proud of Azibo? As the situation reversed, the eighth elder's anger surged and his blood surged. He pointed at Qianya and cursed loudly. We can at least save the lives of our tribe by doing this. Yuzibo is no longer the same as before, since Uchiha left his family and village, so many years have passed. A kaleidoscope Sharingan has never awakened. When Fei Jian was in power, although he restricted our clan, at least it wasn't too extreme. Now that Ri Zhan is in power, the old thief from Tuanzang is still secretly watching. The situation of the clan is becoming increasingly dangerous. What else can we do if we don't bow our heads? Who wants to see our own clan members die? You are so eloquent, but you must come up with a way to put the clan on the right path. The words of the Eighth Elder have stirred up the voices of the Hezbollah tribe. Uchiha's Sharingan requires strong emotional stimulation during awakening or evolution, some due to sadness, some due to hatred, and some due to fear of life and death crisis. The members of the main peace faction have all experienced the departure of their loved ones, and they do not want to see such scenes reappear. That's why we have always been against the pro-war camp, even if we bow our heads, abandon dignity and glory, and want the living, love, people to live on. Qianye, as a member of the Uchiha clan, naturally knows the thoughts of the main faction, but it must be said that this is the negative effect brought about by the Sharingan, and the thoughts will be one dot sided on one hand. With the upgrading of writing will eyes and the increase of pupil power, one's thoughts will become increasingly extreme, impulsive or pessimistic. But Qianye is different. In his previous life, he had gone through too much love hate and grudges. With nearly 90 years of experience and experience together, he had already learned to control his thinking and make rational judgments. He is a brand new Uchiha who is not disturbed by emotions in his thinking while clearly distinguishing between love and hate. Shinya listened to the words of the Eighth Elder and continued speaking according to his words. It can only be said that your ideas of the moderate faction are too naive. Why do you think that as long as Uchiha bows his head to the village, these contradictions can be resolved, do you still think that the current Hokage is Qianshou Kaijian? Isn't Qianshou Izu the best example? Zhu Jian thinks that dissolving the family and becoming a commoner can solve the conflict between the family and the commoner. What was the result? In the Second Ninja War, all the members of the Thousand-Handed Clan died on the battlefield. Apart from Gang's Ho, if Gang's Ho didn't have a great-grandfather who was a disciple of the Monkey Flying Sun Slayer, do you think she could have survived until now? If the family wants to continue to exist, it must not be in a state of survival. Without enough strength, everything is empty talk. Abandoning dignity to live is just letting the family step into the quagmire and walk towards death step by step. The clan will be in a moment of silence. Yes, the reigning Hokage is no longer a thousand-handed sword, but his disciple monkey flying sun slayer. He doesn't have the same broad dot-minded attitude as the sword, otherwise the family's situation wouldn't have been targeted like this. Not to mention the fact that the group hiding is still targeting everywhere in secret. It was only then that everyone realized that the family's situation had reached such a point. Whether it was a coup or obeying three generations, it could not avoid the downfall of the family. It was just a result of the speed of its downfall. Yuzibo Dei Defensive, Yuzibo Nantung Defensive A total of 32 people have broken the defense, and the riding wheel's pupil strength has increased by 10%. The system is providing feedback on this achievement, and the improvement is also good. The pupil power of the Sharingan is much harder to improve than that of Chakra. Fuyue kept tapping on the table with his fingers, pondering, all of which he had already understood. That's why he kept weighing between the pro-war and pro-peace factions, hoping to stabilize the balance within the family. Under his guidance, a neutral faction led by him emerged. At this moment, someone from the faction of the main peace faction in the audience spoke up. Yuzibo Chienye, according to your statement, doesn't it mean that Yuzibo, vertically and horizontally, can't escape the fate of destruction sooner or later? This statement immediately sparked discussions among everyone. 
Yeah, so there's no way to survive anymore. It seems that we, Yuzibo, are also going to follow the footsteps of the Thousand-Handed Clan. Damn it, then I would rather die in battle than die so suffocated. Qianye was numbed by this group of people who changed their faces faster than flipping through books. This is faster than his previous girlfriends changing their faces. Is this Yuzibo at that moment, Fuyue slapped the table. Enough. The purpose of this clan meeting is to find a way to keep the family alive and find hope. What's the use of being solely pessimistic? Yuzibo is not a reckless man. Not to mention a coward. I believe we can definitely find a way. Fuyue's speech gave hope to the people of the tribe again, yes, as long as they were led by the clan chief, they could definitely find the right way out. But Qianye doesn't know how to roast anymore. It's over. This shit-stirring stick has begun to poison the people with chicken soup again. Chapter 4 Neutralists and clan leaders cannot escape. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. So, what better way do you have, Chief Fuyue? For Fuyue's next words, Chinya had already deeply experienced them at the previous clan meeting. At this moment, if Fuyue were to spread his thoughts of stirring feces, it would be ruined. We must anticipate and interrupt his casting actions. Fuyue is trying to speak out the essence of his thoughts, stabilize the situation, and let the ethnic people work together. As a result, Chinya suddenly interrupted his thoughts. Cough, didn't you just say that? This is exactly the purpose of the clan association. My personal ideas alone are useless, we need everyone to work together. I have already proven that my personal idea has failed in my previous decision. So it's necessary for all ethnic groups to express their opinions. At this moment, Fuyue's tone was clearly lacking in confidence. Qianye has decided to share the reign and do evenly, and everyone has been criticized. How can we be biased? As the most important clan leader, it is necessary to give him some extra special care, which is in line with his status as a clan leader. Fuyue clan chief, you now know that your decision is problematic, right? Why didn't you suddenly realize it earlier? Bai Bai caused the family to lose two geniuses. What is Itachi and Jishui's attitude towards the family now? The factions of the main war faction and the main peace faction in the family were already outrageous enough. What are you doing with the entire neutral faction? Have you resolved the conflict? Now both sides are trying to win over the neutral faction. Which side can win over the neutral faction, and which side can lead the family's decision dot making and direction? This is what you call listening to everyone's opinions and ideas. Isn't it still possible to only consider a portion of people? As the leader of a clan, you not only fail to stop the behavior of two factions dividing the family, but also further deepen the division. Do the two factions still think it's not chaotic enough? Can the three factions fight each other to satisfy you? Chenye's words constantly stimulated Fuyue's brain. Looking back, it turned out that he had done so many foolish things not only did he fail to ease the conflict within the family, but it further exacerbated the conflict. His leadership as a clan leader has truly failed Fuyue was aware of his own problems, but the people in the audience couldn't imagine so many. I only know how the clan leader they have been following, who can influence the overall situation decision dot making of a clan, can be insulted by a mere upper ninja. Chinye. How could you talk to the clan chief like that? The clan chief has also worked very hard, hasn't he? If it weren't for the clan chief, Yuzibo might have been destroyed long ago. Compared to the previous provocations of the pro-war and pro-peace factions, the remaining group of neutral guys are even more outrageous. Even some people have stood up and pointed at Chinya, cursing loudly. If you have the ability, you can have a fight with me. You young guy is talking nonsense. Even worse, they have already stood up to challenge Chinya. Chinya turned around and glanced at Yuzibo Jitsang, the deputy minister of the police department, constantly thinking about how to become the deputy tribal chief. This guy's thoughts are almost visible to the naked eye, 
almost all on his face. Quickly imprinting in his hand, he was preparing to use illusion to control Chinya and make him look embarrassed. I saw Chinya's Sharingan quickly turn and instantly activate a magic spell to control the opponent. Illusion Technique The art of hanging hangs Yuji Bo Jitsang suddenly stopped making a seal in his hand, his eyes blank and lifeless. Everyone was shocked, and it was unexpected that Chinya's Sharingan eye power had reached such a level. Even instant illusion can be achieved, which is something only the leader of the Fuyue clan can do. Seeing Chinya's strength, others also stopped blaming Chinya. After all, within the Uchiha clan, strength is the king's way, and the weak Uchiha has no right to speak. Fuyue looked into Chinya's crimson eyes, constantly weighing Chinya's strength in his heart. If he hadn't awakened the kaleidoscope, he probably wouldn't have been Chinya's opponent. Unexpectedly, Chinya's strength had surpassed Itachi and Jishue. It's truly terrifying to hide for so many years. Fortunately, because Chinya did not reveal his strength, he did not send him to the dark side. Otherwise, there may be a third traitor within Uchiha. If Chinya knew about Fuyue's current thoughts, he would definitely sneer. I'm not a short dot sided guy like Itachi and Jishue. Join the dark side. I don't have the habit of living in the shadows and being a servant to others. Chinya has lifted the illusion spell on Yuzibo Jitsan. After all, in the future, if he can let one more person break through the defense, he will receive an extra reward. Don't let this guy miss out. Becoming a clan leader requires three necessary conditions, one of which is strong strength, which must be the top ninja in the clan, convincing the clan members. Secondly, having a vision and insight beyond ordinary people can lead the rise and fall of the family towards the right path. The majority of the clan members' magnanimity is insufficient, otherwise the existence of the clan leader is not necessary. Thirdly, we need to be able to unify the family. Instead of splitting it up, we need to twist the family into a rope. We need to unite the family as one. This is the leader. Chief Fuyue, have you achieved all two points except for the first one? Have you brought the right choices to the family? Have you brought the family together? No. You haven't done anything. Yuzibo Fuyue breaks through defense, successfully replicates, awakens the kaleidoscope writing will I. Yuzibo Fuyue has now been shattered by the Dao Xian, sprayed by Chinya, and his beliefs are shattered. Chinya's double pupils were spinning, and the patterns of Sangoyu gradually merged and transformed into a brand new shape. Three equally divided black thick lines extend from the center of the pupil to the edge of the pupil, and the straight lines are linked together by black circles. This is Kaleidoscope writing will I. Ha ha ha. This is the hope of the Uchiha clan. What? Chinya has already awakened the kaleidoscope. No wonder he could instantly cast an illusion to control Jitsang. He's even younger than when Uchiha Watanabe awakened back then. Chinya does not intend to hide his kaleidoscope, after all, as long as there is a system in place that is not known by others, what if others know about it? In the face of absolute strength, everything is illusory. And at this moment, we must demonstrate our own strength, otherwise how can we convince our people and lead a tribe? Fuyue also recovered from his previous state of being breached by Chinya. Decadence was immediately replaced by shock and joy, and with his kaleidoscope alone, he was unable to compete with the high dot ranking officials of Kiba. But now Chinya has also awakened to the kaleidoscope, which is not simply 1 plus 1 equals 2. The deterrence it brings is enough to make ape flying sun slash weigh it carefully. If Muyi wants to argue with Yujibwa, both sides will be hurt, and other villages will definitely take advantage of the situation. I believe that even Rijan did not want to see the village surrounded by the four major powers of wind, thunder, water, and rock. Chapter 5 Within the Unified Clan, Waterstop Corpse you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The atmosphere in the clan association has changed due to the kaleidoscope of thousands of nights. All fell into ecstasy, 
only Qianye remained calm and composed. Fuyue looked at Qianye and said something that surprised everyone. Qianye, you're right. As the tribal leader, I was really a failure. Since you have awakened the kaleidoscope, otherwise the position of clan leader will be handed over to you. Compared to me, I believe that under your guidance, the family will definitely be able to recast the glory of the past. There is a hint of self-deprecation in the words, with a hint of relief. After the Nine Tails Rebellion, the conflict between his family and the village made him anxious, but there was no better candidate within the clan to become the clan leader. I had thought about waiting for Itachi to hone his skills for a few more years and handing over this position to him, but he never thought of it. Itachi was brainwashed by the will of the sun's fire, and since he vaguely sensed this, he has become increasingly worried about the inheritance of the clan leader. Fortunately, Chinya's words woke him up today, not to mention Chinya's awakening of the kaleidoscope. The elders and clan members were first shocked by what Fuyue had said before, but after listening, they all expressed their support. That's right. Chinya has awakened the kaleidoscope now, and as long as Chinya leads us, we can definitely recast the glory of Uchiha. Only the strongest talents are worthy of becoming the leaders of Azibo. The era of Fuyue has come to an end. The future will be led by Chinya. Everyone changed their attitude, only because Chinya awakened the kaleidoscope. Chinya sat down slowly, holding her cheeks and looking silent. Don't get it wrong, I don't want to be the clan leader. Dot. Everyone was shattered by Chinya's words, Uchiha's instant defense, Uchiha's eighth generation defense. A total of 104 people have broken the defense, and the pupil power of the writing will has increased by 20%, the system's announcement came in my ear, finally cleaning up everything that could be pulled up. Chiba's mouth curved an imperceptible curve. Why? Do you also want to abandon a clan like Uchiha did back then? Chinya's words directly pierced Yizibo's fleeting memories. Not only Uchiha, but also all the older generation and Fuyue were frightened by Chinya's words, afraid that Chinya would follow the path of Uchiha. Continuing to sit on the futon, Chinya didn't want to let them break through anymore, but in an instant, this old fool had nothing to do with trouble. Elder in an instant, respect your elders and shout, Elder, to you. If you provoke me again, I will let you go to the ground. Cold sweat instantly covered Yuzibo's spine, but it also relieved the others. It seems that Chinya did not have that kind of plan. Chinya turned his head to look at Fuyue. Don't be so complicated, can you? You're not very smart, why bother using your brain, I just don't want to be the clan leader because I'm afraid of trouble, but it's also to prevent Ape Fei and Tuanzang from realizing that I've awakened to the kaleidoscope but I can be the deputy chieftain. I won't repeat what I said before. As for what to do next, the day after tomorrow, have the police department and ninjas from Nakano and above gather at the training ground within the clan. After a few words, everyone finally felt at ease, after all, in this situation, there was a powerful genius who could see through the whole situation. Let them have hoped to confront the Japanese and Tibetan tribes again. The upcoming clan meeting will handle the trivial matters within the clan and also assign the position of deputy minister of police to Chinya. Yuzibo Jitsung also dares not to be angry or speak up, after all, Chinya is a kaleidoscope. In this way, only the injured clan members of Uchiha Jitsung achieved their goal, and the rest of them ended the clan meeting with satisfaction. Chinya, what are you bringing me here for? After the clan meeting ended, Chinya brought Fuyue to the waterfall more than 10 miles west of Nanha Shrine. Chinya had already learned about the environment here when he moved to the edge of the village, and now there is only one waterfall in the family's address. Chinya looked at the pool under the waterfall. Find the body that stopped the water, he should have died here. How could it be? The water stop died here. Upon hearing these words, Fuyue's first reaction was that it was impossible. He knew very well about the strength of Jishue. During the Third World War, Jishue, who was young, had already gained the power of elite ninjas and forced the surprise attack troops of Wuin to retreat alone. 
However, if Qinya actually told him about this, it indicates that Qinya has already confirmed this matter. Is it the pupil technique of the kaleidoscope? Thinking of this, Fuyuan no longer asked, the exclusive pupil technique of the kaleidoscope is the trump card of every Uchiha, how could it be easily told to others? But what he didn't expect was that he knew all of this just because Qin Ye was a traveler, and the kaleidoscope had just awakened, and he hadn't figured it out yet. The two of them searched for a moment in the water and found a dead body at the bottom of the pool. Damn it! Who the hell is it? Jishue didn't come to the clan meeting tonight because he was assassinated. Fuyue looked at Jishue's empty eyes, which had already been dug out by someone. I can't help but think of his son Itachi, whether it's an Itachi or not seeing Fuyue's wild and imaginative expression, Chinya directly revealed the truth. There are two people's footprints here, probably Jishue and Itachi who have recently come. Did the weasel kill the water stop? Itachi has been waiting for the water to stop like an elder brother, and is one of Itachi's few friends. Fuyue cannot believe that his son would do such a thing. Seeing Fuyue start brainstorming again, Chinya interrupted again. Alas, this is clearly a suicide by stopping water and throwing oneself into the river. I guess I wanted to help Itachi open a kaleidoscope before he died. Suddenly, Fuyue looked embarrassed, it seemed that he had been brainwashing too many scenes, but why did Jishue commit suicide? Where have his eyes gone again? Forget it, according to Jishue's personality, I guess I have already reserved some spare parts. You can cooperate with me in a play tomorrow at home. Acting Fuyue's brain is once again overloaded, why do we have to act and show it to whom? At this moment, Chinya has also been numbed by Fuyue. No wonder so many people in his past life called him a troublemaker. This brainless melon seed is really not clever, who else besides you, who else can pull him back to the right path without acting? Sooner or later, he will be able to do something incredible. After saying these things, Chinya doesn't want to say more. Fuyue can understand as long as he can. If he still doesn't understand, it can only be said that this guy may not be a troublemaker anymore, but has evolved into a big flower that explodes cow dung. Storing the lifeless body in the sealed scroll, Chen Ye returned home. Sitting cross-legged on the bed, contemplating. Entering the depths of my heart, a towering black beard stood tall. Wearing armor, wearing a battle dress at the waist, there is also a long sword in the style of a Miao sword at the waist. The mask on his face was majestic and stern, covering the upper half of his face. Perceiving one's inner needs and establishing connections. Chenya also became aware of his two exclusive pupil techniques, speech spirit and illusion tool, as well as his own spiritual weapon, the spirit blade, Chenyue. Speech spirit. Speech follows the method, and the effect is determined by the expenditure of pupil power, strengthen the language effect of the subject and possess leadership qualities. Phantom Phantom weapons and weapon effects with any ability, with weapon strength determined by pupil power consumption. After thinking for a while, Chinya realized that his two pupil surgeries were actually used together with the best effect. If he guessed correctly, this can also reduce the loss of pupil force. Similarly, the passive ability of Yenling can be used in conjunction with defense breaking systems, making it easier for others to break through. After all, before reproducing to the eternal kaleidoscope Sharingan, Chinya could not use the pupil technique recklessly. However, it is worth considering the use of Tantu, as the intercellular cells are a good thing and can also replenish the pupil power. Chapter 6 Uchiha Itachi you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Vice Chieftain, we just found his suicide note at Jishue's house. Yuji Bo Jitsang and his team have gone directly to the gate of the clan chief to question Yuji Bo Itachi. Chinya received the suicide note handed over by Uchiha Inego. I can't bear the long dot term task anymore. If this continues, Yuzibo will eventually perish. I can't continue to deviate from the path of tolerance in my heart. Looking at the last words left by Jishue, 
Chinya felt a bit regretful in her heart. She had also worked with him on several missions before. Although our relationship was not particularly close, at least Jishue still had a family in her heart. Unlike Itachi, who has already leaked all the family information to the high dot ranking officials of Kiba for the sake of the village. We must take advantage of the time after the water stops and die to change the situation. I hope Fuyue and others will not forget their reminder last night. Put away the farewell letter to stop the water. Let's go immediately to Fuyue's house to find Itachi. Yes. Last night, Jishue committed suicide in Nanha River. Where were you? I'm saying, I'm on a mission in the dark. I hope so, Humph Yujibuji turned around with the other two and prepared to leave. Yuji Bo Itachi looked up at the three people at the door. If you have something to say, you suspect me of being the murderer. Jitsang turned around and San Goyu in his eyes stared at Yuji Bo Itachi. That's right, stinky kid. Listen, if you dare to betray a clan, we will never spare you. Suddenly, the last words of Jishue from last night came to mind, and the words of Yuji Bo and Jitsang constantly stimulated his nerves. Swinging his fist forward quickly, Itachi knocked the three of them to the ground. Bang, bang, bang. Lowering his head, he looked straight at the three people lying on the ground. Open your mouth and shut your mouth, one tribe and one tribe. You guys who always think you're right. How could you possibly know the depth of my abilities? That's why you were knocked down by me. Just as Achiha Itachi was planning to continue his attack, Fuyue appeared from the street entrance and rushed over. Stop it. Itachi, what's going on? Whoosh bang. With his right hand, he quickly threw a painless mural that had pierced the wall beside him. The wall showed cracks, and the Uchiha fan on the mural also shattered. My magnanimity has become desperate for this arrogant and boring group. Yo, Itachi, how could you, as the son of the clan leader, say this sentence? Chinya jumped off the eaves and stood opposite Itachi, with Inakua following closely behind and quickly lifting the three people underground. Fuyue watched from the side. I don't know what Chinya is going to do next. Thinking of the scene at the clan meeting last night, Chinya has a really bad personality and doesn't tell me how to cooperate with him in acting. I hope Itachi won't suffer less. Silently praying for the weasel in my heart, Yuzibo Chinya, it's not your turn to intervene in this matter. Itachi knows Chinya, and is considered a genius in his clan second only to Jishue and himself. He also awakened Sangoyu at a young age. But it is obvious that Itachi, who did not attend the clan meeting last night, did not know that Chinya not only awakened the kaleidoscope, but also became the deputy clan leader. Chinya smiled, shook his head, and looked at the naturally rebellious Erwu in front of him. I am currently the deputy chieftain of a clan. Do you think I have the qualifications to intervene? With a frown, Itachi turned to look at his father, wanting to confirm whether Chinya's words were true. Seeing Fuyue nod, Itachi didn't know how to refute Chinya. After all, Chinya was right and he did have the right to intervene. Chinya looked at the now silent Itachi and pretended to ponder for a while. Itachi, come to Nanha River with Fuyue at night. Leaving this sentence, Chinya left with Daohua and Jitsang. Itachi watched Chinya and his companions leave, then turned to face Fuyue. Father, why did Chinya suddenly become the deputy chieftain? Fuyue directly explained the entire process of the clan meeting to Itachi, and as he watched Itachi's shocked expression, he didn't know if he needed to say anything more. But considering Chinya's plan, I'm sorry son, let Chinya tell you some things. Your father and I didn't mean to hide it from you. I don't know if it was influenced by Chinya or for some reason. Compared to before, Fuyue has some different ideas, but now it's just a little bit. As for the future, who can say for sure? At night, the new moon shimmered and Chinya arrived early at the edge of the cliff in Nanha River. Sitting on it, he gazed at the waterfall in front of him, pondering his plans for tonight. 
After all, Itachi is a filial son in the original work. In Chinya's view, Itachi's life was extremely tragic. Itachi, who loved sweet food, endured a lifetime of hardship. Witnessing the cruelty of the battlefield from a young age, forced to grow. The misunderstanding between father and son gradually deepened, sealing Itachi's heart. Until later on, he met Yuzibo Jishue and became his elder brother. His fiery thinking inspired him to work with Jishue to change the current situation of the village and family. But unfortunately, after Jishue committed suicide in front of Itachi, Itachi's inner pillar collapsed directly. The conflict with his father Fuyue and the Hokage-style thinking made him unconsciously lean towards the third generation and Tuanzang. In addition, after awakening the kaleidoscope Sharingan, Itachi became increasingly paranoid, which led to the later Itachi being brainwashed by Sandai and Tuanzang, deciding to exterminate the Uchiha clan and leave his younger brother Sasuke behind. However, although Itachi has opened the kaleidoscope Sharingan, he has not yet had the opportunity to report this matter to the third generation and Tuanzang. Now is a good time to cut off the beard. As long as you successfully break through the weasel's defense at this time, you can turn it into a sharp blade in your own hands and control it. Two figures flickered rapidly in the forest behind them, finally standing behind Chinya. Let's all sit down. Itachi and Fuyue sat on both sides of Chinya. Looking at the waterfall in front of him, it reminded Itachi of the scene of self-immolation by stopping water. Since Fuyue learned about Chinya's words in the clan association, he had been thinking before coming here. According to Chinya's idea, the family had no way out, but it seemed that Chinya had already come up with a solution. If there were ways to make the village and family coexist peacefully, he naturally wouldn't want to wield a sword against his fellow countrymen in the future. Chinya, what methods are you going to use to help your family get out of the current predicament? Itachi spoke first wanting to ask a question. Chinya frowned upon hearing this and looked at Itachi on the right. Yuji Bo Itachi, you should first recognize your own problem before proceeding. Me. Do I have any questions? Itachi was puzzled by Chinya's question for a moment and looked at Fuyue sitting on Chinya's left side. Fuyue felt Itachi's gaze and set his gaze on the waterfall in front of him, constantly reminding himself to cooperate well with Chinya and perform the trick well. The only hope of the clan now is Chinya, and he must cooperate well. Chinya silently reached out her right hand and patted her on the forehead. She was full of roast about Fuyue. Alas, she shouldn't have too much hope. She had to do it herself. It's too difficult to count on Fuyue. Answer me a few questions, Itachi. Why did Yuzibo and Chisho founded Kiba? What is your surname? Who raised you to adulthood? What did Jishue say to you in the end? Chiba directly threw these questions to Itachi. Except for the first question, all other questions made Itachi feel like nonsense, but Itachi still suppressed his doubts and answered. Yuzibo and Chinsho founded my, naturally for the sake of peace. My surname is Yujibwa and my parents raised me. At the end, Jishue told me to protect the village and the name of the Yuzibo tribe. Chinya shook his head repeatedly upon hearing this, but fortunately, Itachi still knew that he was raised by his parents. Coupled with his ability to speak spiritually, there should be a high probability of rescuing Itachi from the brainwashing of Tuanzang and Sandai. Fuyue couldn't help but believe that Jishue committed suicide until he heard Itachi's acquiescence, just to ease the conflict between his family and village. However, what he didn't expect was that the conflict not only did not weaken, but also intensified. Itachi, wrong. Yuzibo and Chinsho teamed up to establish my not for peace, but to protect their people. Also, you misunderstood the last words of, stop water, dot. Protect the village and the name of the Uchiha clan. That's the correct understanding. Chapter 7 The Rebirth of Itachi and the Determination of Chinya You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Joining the village was to protect the people of the clan, and the words of Chinya awakened Itachi. 
Indeed, he was aware of the family's history. But when it comes to stopping water later, Chenya deliberately paused, but after listening to it, his understanding was different. Does stopping water mean to protect both the village and the family at the same time? But surprisingly, he was misinterpreted as needing to protect the village first, followed by the name of Uzibo. After understanding it, Itachi felt a moment of fear. If he had been thinking about it like before, he would have already fought against the clan today. In the future, Itachi wouldn't dare to think about it anymore. Chinya watched from the side as Itachi seemed to be starting to collapse, gesturing to Fuyue and not to interfere and to let himself play. What does Chinya mean when Fuyue on the side looks confused again? Do you want me to help him amplify his words again? Itachi, Chishue has never missed any clan meetings before, but you often don't attend due to mission reasons. Previously, the people within the tribe only excluded you, but they have never excluded stop water. Fuyue exclaimed in astonishment, and Chinya's eyes widened. Okay, okay, Yuzibo Fuyue. You're a guy with thick eyebrows and big eyes. I didn't expect you to be so smart before, but now you're really passionate about playing your own son. If you're really biological, how can you be so ruthless? Directly causing Itachi's inner breakdown. Itachi recalled everything before, and he did not stop the suicide of Jishue. Every time there was a new movement in the clan, he would report to the third generation Mu and Tuanzang. Still monitoring the tribe for them. If I hadn't woken up at midnight, wouldn't I have killed the entire clan and embarked on the path of rebellion and tolerance, Itachi, think about your past. Your family asked you to go undercover in the dark, but instead you became an undercover agent for Tuanzang and Rijian. You were unfaithful. Let Jishue commit suicide in front of you, watching him choose the wrong path and being unjust to his friends. Fighting against the people of your tribe is disrespectful to you. You have let down your father's expectations for wealth, and even went against them, questioning your father. As a result, you were almost brainwashed by the Japanese beheading and Tuanzang. You are unfilial. The four-sentence sentence declares, disloyalty, injustice, benevolence, and unfilial piety. Yuji Bo Itachi breaks through defense and replicates the eternal kaleidoscope writing will I one half. The sound of the system resounded in Chinya's mind. Chinya's heart had already burst into laughter. She thought she would replicate it into her pupil technique, but to her surprise, it turned out to be half of the eternal eye. Does this mean that in the future, as long as the second pillar also awakens the kaleidoscope and makes a slight move, one can directly awaken the eternal eye? Originally, he had no brothers and sisters. Chinya thought that if he wanted to awaken the eternal eye, he needed to go to Big Snake Pill to cooperate. Unexpectedly, the system was so awesome. If you think so, as long as you wait for the soil to appear, then the eye of reincarnation will also be in your hands. Chinya was pondering these things in her heart, thinking of a beautiful future. But the Uchiha Itachi on the side had crimson eyes, a kaleidoscope of patterns appeared, and two lines of blood and tears flowed down the tear marks. Kneeling to the ground, pounding the ground, hating his past paranoid and arrogant self, hating himself for being brainwashed by the words of three generations at the age of seven, hating himself for letting his father down, hating himself for not being able to stop water. All of this is because of his own mistake. Fuyue stood in front of Itachi and looked at him with great pain. As a father, he didn't want to see his son so sad no matter what. It can only be said that accompanying Chinya in acting has a significant effect. But now we need to cheer up the weasel again. Itachi, you are my son, stand up. The past cannot be undone, but the future can still be changed. Have you forgotten your last words to stop water with your decadent appearance? Have you forgotten the people's expectations of you? Do you want Sasuke to see you like this? Itachi stood up and wiped away the blood and tears from his face, his eyes gradually becoming resolute. Father, you're right. I can't let the tribe down, I can't let the lost water stop down, I can't let you down, let alone Sasuke down. 
The Will of Fire and Threat Theory of Uchiha, instilled in Uchiha Itachi by Jitsu and Tuanzang, Ape Flying Sun Slash are shattered at this moment. Looking at Itachi at this moment, he was completely different from Itachi in the afternoon. In the joint performance between Shinya and Fuyue, Itachi finally ushered in a reshaped new life. Itachi suddenly turned around and looked at Shinya, who was still sitting on the edge of the cliff. His words were sincere and his eyes revealed loyalty. Shinya, what method are you going to use to save the Uchiha clan? The calm Itachi began to worry about this issue. Not only Itachi, but also Fuyue urgently stared at Chinya. He acted in such a scene just to wait for Chinya to reveal his plan, right? Chinya began to tell the two of them about the method he had come up with before coming to the waterfall. The new moon gradually rose to the top and began to slowly fall, and Chinya finally explained his thoughts to the two of them. The father and son looked at Chinya with a complex and bewildered expression, unsure of how to evaluate Chinya's plan. It's outrageous, but it is indeed feasible, and as long as the results are implemented, it seems that it will definitely succeed. However, this method may only be possible for guys like Chinya to come up with. If it were for the two of them, they probably wouldn't be able to think of it even if they wanted to break their minds. Itachi Naohai is deducing the Thousand Knights plan, which is impeccable. Not only can it save the family, but it can also earn the recognition and love of the villagers, and even thinking of the end, Itachi's gaze gradually became dangerous, for the two despicable guys, Tuanzang and Sandemu. Chinya noticed Itachi's gaze and stepped forward to pat his shoulder. Tuanzang must die. The daily execution is not too bad, let's save his life. Seeing Chinya say so, Itachi nodded in agreement. Fuyue stood by, reminiscing about everything that happened tonight. Yuji Bo Chinya was such a terrifying strategist. He could easily save a clan and change Itachi's thoughts. He had worked hard for so many years but couldn't achieve something, and Chinya was able to do it so easily. Fortunately, Chinya is a member of the Uchiha clan. As long as he is present, the clan can recast the glory of Uchiha. From now on, anyone who wants to attack Chinya must first step over his body. While Fuyue made up his mind, Itachi also had the same idea. The father and son unconsciously reached a united front. Chinya looked at the current appearance of Fuyue and Itachi, and recalled the tragic night in the original work. I was born into the Uchiha clan, so this time I will lead Uchiha towards glory. Chinya silently told herself this sentence in her heart. Their parents took care of them from childhood. They were uncles and aunts who sold Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle, in the clan and retired uncles from the forbearance shop. Recalling the bits and pieces of life within the clan over the past 16 years, which are completely different from those in previous anime, the Uchiha clan is just a bit arrogant, but as long as they treat each other sincerely, they can feel the love between each other. Chinya looked at the harmonious relationship between the father and son now, smiled knowingly, and silently left. Chapter 8 Rectification of the Police Department You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the edge of my village, on the training ground of the Uchiha tribe. The sun gradually rose, and Uchiha members wearing green ninja vests came to the training ground one after another. They all gather together in groups of three or two. I heard that Yuji Bo Chinya has become the deputy chieftain. Do you know about this? Chinya, I remember he opened the three Goyu writing will I two years ago, and even completed S. level tasks alone. Yesterday, it seemed like all the ninjas from the police department were notified that they wanted us to gather here this morning. What are we doing? In the forest on one side of the training ground, Chen Ye rested under a lush tree with his recliner. Seeing that time was approaching and everyone had arrived, a teleportation technique appeared in the center of the crowd. Separate men and women, line up in rows of ten people from left to right, standing tall and short. Stand beautifully. The sudden command stunned everyone, but they quickly realized that as ninjas of the Uchiha clan, 
their execution and efficiency were much higher than those of ordinary ninjas. Chenya looked at the stopwatch in his hand, 10 seconds 86. The ninjas in front of me stood in rows. Yuzibo Daohua, stand out and come to me to see how your team is doing. When Yuzibo Daohua heard his name being called out, he felt a little uneasy. He thought something was wrong with him, but only then did he realize that he was fine and just wanted to take a look. Walk up to Chenya and watch the team of over 400 tribal people on the training ground. Sweat dripped down from the forehead of the rice fire. He remembered very clearly that Chenya had just said in the end that he wanted to look beautiful. Although he didn't know what it was for, the scene before him everyone's movements are different, and looking at it alone may not be a problem, but when more than 400 people stand together, it looks like it's chaotic. Chenya looked at Daohua with a melancholic and conflicted expression, afraid to speak, and directly spoke. Speak up. How is your team standing? Chaos. It's not good that looking at all. Chenya urged Daohua to directly express his thoughts. The crowd began to stir, and many people were somewhat dissatisfied with Chenya. After all, Chenya's becoming the deputy chieftain was too sudden, and no one expected it. Chenya doesn't want to waste too much time on this matter, so let's just rely on our strength to persuade them. Sangoyu in her eyes quickly turned and made a snap of her finger. More than 400 people, none of whom had a chance to react, fell into the illusion of a thousand knights. The perspective suddenly changed, and everyone saw where they had just been, how they stood. Some hugged their arms, some crossed their hips with one hand, and some were lazy. The field of view suddenly pulled back, the picture enlarged, and more than 400 people stood on the training ground, in a chaotic state. One minute later, Chenya lifted his illusion. Do you have any objections? If you can also do it, Shuenfa Ninjutsu will trap over 400 people in illusion for one minute, and I will take the position of deputy clan leader for you. Dot. No one dares to argue anymore. You know, if you're on the battlefield, a moment of carelessness can make you lose your life, let alone a minute. If Chenya had a murderous heart, it would be enough to make them die dozens of times. Looking at the settled crowd, Chenya also felt a hint of satisfaction in his heart. Sure enough, as long as these guys understood his own strength, everything would be much easier in the future. Is there anyone who voluntarily becomes a team leader? There are only 40 spots available, first come, first served. Upon hearing these words, the formation immediately disbanded, each enthusiastically moving forward, totaling over 400 people. Surprisingly, more than 160 people gathered in front of Chinya. Chinya glanced at the people who had attended the clan meeting that night, along with a few unfamiliar faces, probably some of the Zhongren who had not measured their own strength. Take out forty bells from the ninja bag and show them to the ninjas. I will tie these bells behind Kowu and throw them out. The person who receives the bells from Kowu and hands them to me is the team leader. By the way, as long as you can hand it over to me, you can do anything, as long as you don't kill or seriously injure your fellow countrymen. After speaking, Chinya's hands formed a seal. The Technique of Multiple Shadow Clones Forty figures each held a handful of bitter nothings in their hands, tied bells, and suddenly threw them outside the training ground. Let's go. With Chenya's command, the ninjas behind Chenya immediately set off, some even engaging in battle without leaving the training ground. Chenya sat still, waiting for the results to arrive. Vice Chief I am the first squad leader. Yuzibo Daohua returned first and presented his achievements to Chinya. Chinya glanced at Inawo, who was one of the few main battle ninjas he had an impression of. Although he had a somewhat irritable personality, he was still a decent person. When Chinya was still a medium ninja, Daohua had already become an upper ninja. He had taken Chinya on several missions and was always the first to charge when encountering enemies. Even when he wanted to join the main battle faction, he did not mention anything from the past. Keep it, this is a souvenir for you to become the team captain. Daohua looked at Kowu in his hand, then at Chenya in front of him, 
and couldn't help but recall memories of the past and Chinya's mission execution. When executing tasks, he was meticulous and his strength far exceeded that of his peers. At that time, he could have imagined that Chinya future would definitely become an outstanding ninja of the Uchiha clan, but now he has awakened to the kaleidoscope. He witnessed Chinya's strength gradually strengthening, leaving him behind. However, he never underestimated ninjas like them, whose strength had reached its end, and brought new hope for the family's future. Uchiha Inego decided to follow Chiya well in the future and work hard to complete every task assigned by Chiya for the sake of his family. After the rice fire, many ninjas also came one after another. Chinye recorded the faces and names of each of them, each holding a precious treasure that symbolized their glory. They became team leaders with their own strength. Only those ninjas who failed had some regrets on their faces. But soon they regained their vitality from their disappointment. Each team has ten members, and every two months, team members can challenge the team leader, but can only challenge the captains of other teams. The ninjas who had already become team leaders suddenly felt some pressure in their hearts, and at the same time, the young ninjas who had not yet grown up and the ninjas who had just failed in the competition had motivation. Looking at the scene in front of her, Chinye was very satisfied. This method is just right. It can not only enhance Yuzibo's overall strength, but also allow the belligerent Yuzibo to release his extra energy in battles, achieving the best of both worlds. Chapter 9 The Face of Uchiha Must Have You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A week has passed. Under the arrangement of Chinya, each team will have two days off each week and a month-long vacation every two months, which can be used for outdoor tasks or self-cultivation to improve their strength. All members of the police department are satisfied with the current work allocation. The training process of the team has been taught to the team captains, and Chinya can finally find time to move on to the next plan. Meanwhile, a week later, Chinya also received custom-made battle uniforms and ninja knives prepared for the members of the police department from the ninja shop. On the training ground, eagles hover, and if anyone could see from above, they would definitely be amazed by the scene in front of them. Chenya stood in front of the police ninja in his dark blue combat uniform, while Fuyue was also wearing the same combat uniform as Chenya, except for the difference between the ninja and Chenya. The samurai sword, which emitted a silver-white cold light all over, was pinned behind him. In front of the two, more than 400 police ninjas wore uniform gray and black combat uniforms, similar in style to Chinya's, except that the material was not as expensive and could only have a simple waterproof effect. Each person was separated by one meter horizontally and vertically, and black samurai swords were also pinned on the back. Pa, Chinya once again snapped his fingers and used magic to show everyone the current team. The screen switches, and the ninjas from the police department can all see their own appearance, with their legs slightly apart, their hands wrapped around them, their eyes facing straight ahead, their bodies straight, and everyone appearing majestic. Looking back, one can only see the faces in the first row, while those behind are all neatly obscured by the front row. From an upward perspective, more than 400 ninjas are dressed in gray and black attire, with Uchiha fans and black ninjas on their backs, neatly aligned with the team. The leftmost row of ninjas has a deep blue cuff tied to their left arm, which also bears Uchiha's aura. The sense of oppression, deterrence, and mission are directly filled. Unleashing the illusion, the ninjas were filled with pride and joy on their faces. They also understood the significance of the deputy clan chief training them this week. Previously, they thought it was meaningless, but now, only two words can be used to summarize, really handsome. That's right, this is Chinya's first plan. The Yuzibo clan has explosive appearances, whether it's handsome or beautiful. You should know that excellent appearance is the first element that attracts people's attention. Based on past life memories, Chinya was deeply impressed by this. A handsome man from his past life, with sharp words, was called a aloof and aloof male god. If he had an average appearance, he would be called a common man or a low-headed man by people. Moreover, 
In the history of previous lives, various civil organizations that emerged in various countries in the 20th century, including the Dragon Country Mafia, the Itali Mafia, and the Sunset Empire's Razor Party, all relied on handsome uniforms to attract young people to join. Parade is also a means for major countries to demonstrate their military armed forces. The goal of Chienya is to demonstrate the power and discipline of Yuzibo through the following actions, so that the villagers can have a sense of security. By wearing handsome and uniform clothing, coupled with the attractive looks of the beautiful men and women of the Uchiha clan, a dimensionality reduction blow is created, crazily winning the favor of the villagers and making them yearn for it. Fuyue looked at the police department in front of Chinya from the side, which was completely different from a week ago. It was only then that he realized that Chinya's plan was bound to have outstanding results. The next step is to showcase the results. Huiying Building, in the office. Ape Flying Sun John was in the office, his eyes squinting as he peered at the women's bathhouse with a crystal ball. His old face turned red, and his nostrils occasionally contracted and enlarged. Dong dong dong. The sudden knocking on the door interrupted his enthusiasm. Hurriedly put away the crystal ball, pretending to be calm. Come in. Lord Huiying. The police department suddenly gathered at the village gate, I don't know what they want to do. What? Upon hearing the news from the dark side, Ape Flying Sun Slash couldn't sit still. Gather the dark team. Follow me and set off immediately. Yes. Immediately set off to the gate of the wooden leaf, Fuyue and a thousand knight stood in front of over four hundred ninjas from the police department, all of whom held their ninjas tightly in their right hands and stood upright in front of them. Ri Zhan looked at the well-dot-equipped Uchiha clan and didn't know what they wanted to do. The death of Ji Shue should have made the Uchiha clan hesitant to carry out a coup for the time being. Moreover, there is no such thing as a grand coup. Uchiha doesn't only have over 400 ninjas from the police department, there are thousands of ninjas in total. Also, why did Yuji Bo Chinya stand by Fuyue's side? He is just a somewhat talented Yuji Bo Shangren, far less talented than Ji Shue and Itachi. Before Ri Zhan could even speak, Chinya immediately seized the opportunity and spoke up, speaking loudly. Lord Huiying, recently we received a large number of villagers' protests, complaining that our police department's law enforcement was too violent and did not show respect for others. Minister Fuyue and I have already rectified and punished the police department. Now we will present a brand new police department. I wonder if Lord Huiying is willing to inspect our rectification results with the villagers. Ri Zhan was taken aback for a moment. What kind of moth did Yujibwa mess up? Did Uchiha modify it? Is the dead effect of stopping water so significant? Since the police department accepts the villagers' proposal, it's naturally a good thing. Let's get started, and the villagers have also been attracted. Chinya's speech was too polite making Riju feel embarrassed to reject Chinya's proposal. Coincidentally, he was also curious about any changes in the police department, so it's better to see it with his own eyes now. With a single command from Chinya. Depart. Destination. Huiying Building. Yes. A unified and orderly reply, the sound spreading rapidly in the air, attracted many villagers, even the idle ninjas in the village were attracted and came to nearby buildings to watch. Walk in unison. A police ninja is carved out of a mold, with neat steps and heavy steps on the ground. Touch. 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 The heavy footsteps shook the hearts and minds of the onlookers. The visual impact in front of us is even more shocking, making some people unable to speak. The male ninjas of the police department are handsome and upright, while the female ninjas are full of heroism. The ninjas in their hands are smoothly bent with their right hand and placed in front of them, maintaining the same height. Chiba and Fuyue's clothing at the forefront became the finishing touch, leading the ninjas behind them like dragon heads. Nara Takaku, Akito Dingzua, and Yamagata Hai stand together on a roof made of red tiles. 
Nara Kazuki was the most stunning because these clothes were custom dot made by someone Chinya asked him to find. He also made a big profit from it and replenished his small treasury well. Dingzhua, Hai Yi, the Uchiha clan has changed, and Mu Yi is about to change the sky. Hai Yi pondered over Lu Jiu's words and vaguely understood them, but he didn't quite understand yet. Dingzhua, on the other hand, looked bewildered. He only felt that the scene before him was shocking and handsome, and didn't understand why Lu Jiu would say these things. Lu Jiu's face was heavy. Yuzibo is changing their stereotypical impression in the village. Look at the expressions on the villagers' faces now, there is no fear, disgust, or fear from before. Now it is all worship and longing. As Lu Jiu said, Chinya's intention is here to change the stereotypes of the villagers through the most intuitive methods, and directly crush the negative impression left by Yuzibo through strong visual shock. Even other ninjas were discussing with their team members on the nearby eaves. Look. That's Captain Inaho. The leftmost one in the first row, is Captain Daohua, so handsome. I remember he wasn't so handsome before. Nonsense, Captain Inazuo has always been very handsome, okay. Now he's even more handsome. I really want to marry Captain Daohua in the future, these three little guys are the Nishinobu class currently led by Inazuo. This 14-year-old girl is Inazuka Kazuka's sister, Inazuka Kazuka. The other two are Sakamoto, the oil girl, and Jiro, the moonlight girl. Inazuka Kazuka didn't even think about the question of Uchiha Inago being 25 years old, 11 years older than her. She could only see a flower-like expression on her wild and beautiful face. Not far from these three little ones, Yusho Zaihongdu and Zirihong stood together, looking at Chinya at the forefront of the queue. Hey, Hong, I haven't seen Chiba this little guy for over a year. Is he so handsome now? Cough, how do I know? I haven't been on a mission with Chinya for over half a year. The two women were communicating with each other, but their eyes were all fixed on Chinya. Their cheeks gradually warmed up and turned bright red. They both knew each other's thoughts and wanted to take Chinya. Shirihong was Chinya, who graduated early at the age of 10 when she was just promoted to the special ninja class at the age of 16. Later, after being promoted to the ninja class at Chinya, she often teamed up with Chinya to complete tasks and sued Chinya for her troubles, such as asthma's entanglement and life difficulties. After a year of getting along, Hong unconsciously fell in love with this guy who is six years younger than her. Until Chinya was promoted to Zhongren and left, Hong felt reluctant and her heart felt as if a piece had been dug away, causing a faint pain. It was then that Hong realized that she had long fallen in love with this considerate and caring student. Red Bean, on the other hand, is even more outrageous. When Chinya first entered ninja school, her cute and delicate face made her heart beat faster. At this time, 9.year.old Red Bean had thoughts about 6.year.old Chinya. Every day after class, she would flirt with Chinya and occasionally give her a bento. After learning that Chinya, like her, had sacrificed her parents in the three wars, the same childhood experience gave Hongdo more sympathy for the little boy at that time. If Red Bean hadn't been spotted by Orochimaru when she was ten years old, taken as a disciple, and left ninja school, she would have deliberately kept her grade for three years, waiting to graduate with Chia. This is something she can do. Chapter 10 Villagers envy Yuzibo and want to join him. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The mighty team approached the Huiying building step by step. The crowd of onlookers is getting larger and larger, and even the vendors have put away their stalls, fearing that it will affect their path forward. At first, the villagers noticed that the police department was gathering together and felt anxious. However, now, among the various star eyed and civilian ninjas, there was even a desire to join the police department but the idea was quickly dispelled. After all, since the establishment of the police department, no one outside the Uchiha clan has ever joined. 
Hinata Hinata pulled Hinata from his clan's territory and looked at the police department of the Uchiha clan in front of him, feeling a myriad of emotions surging in his heart. As both members of the Kanoha and Kanoha families, why can Uchiha have such a cohesive force? His family is so oppressive, and only numbness and hidden hatred can be seen from the members of the clan. The clan and branch families are like enemies, that damn cage bird amidst the envy and shock of others, the police forces array continued to advance until it reached the Hokage building. Stop moving forward. With a command from Chenya, everyone immediately stopped and placed their ninja sword in the scabbard behind them. Organize your demeanor. Use your left and right hands to stroke the wrinkles on your left and right shoulders one by one, and then move down to smooth out the wrinkles on your clothes. The movements are neat and consistent, and you can only hear the sound of your palm brushing your coat in unison. Chinya walked to the front of Ape Flying Sun Slaying. What is the effect of the rectification by the Fire Shadow Lord's Police Department? Ape Flying Sun Slash was both happy and envious with toothache. Why didn't he think of Yuzibo's method earlier? This time, Yuzibo shone brightly in the village, but Yuzibo's performance was also a form of submission to him. This is the current idea of Monkey Flying Sun Slash. He feels that Uchiha has finally succumbed, which is a great good thing. This is something that even his master's second dot generation eyes, Huaying Chinshou, could not achieve. Now, he has achieved it during his reign, and a sense of pride and superiority arises naturally. Very good, I am very satisfied with the rectification of the police department, and Yujibwa's outstanding performance is shocking. Chenya smiled slightly, and sure enough, the old man Rigian couldn't see through his plan at all. So the next steps can be executed with confidence. Lord Huaying, not only that, but important news is still ahead. Really? Then quickly present it. Ri Zhan was a bit impatient, but there was something behind him. I thought Yuji Bo was going to cause trouble today, but on the contrary, Yuji Bo brought me a lot of surprises. Qin Ye turned around and faced the villagers. Starting from tomorrow, the Uchiha Police Department will no longer have only members of Uchiha. Ninjas of medium ninja and above who want to contribute to the village and maintain public order can apply to join. As long as you can pass the strength test, any position is open to you, even my position as deputy minister. I believe that after everyone joins, the villagers can feel the changes in our police department. The villagers were first silent, then instantly boiling. Not only the public, but also the eyes of those civilian ninjas are almost shining with gold. The other ninjas in the village were even more overjoyed. This is the police department. What a police force capable of arresting and apprehending criminals, possessing an openly armed ninja force, and launching wars. Unexpectedly, Yuchibo is willing to delegate power. Ri Zhan was even more excited when his right hand pinched off his cigarette stick. After Yuchibo's operation, the threat to the village and him greatly decreased. I believe that in no time, he will become like today's Hinata, a tiger without claws and teeth. In the future, he may even be called the greatest Hokage of Kiba. Yujibwa's rectification of the police department is presented in full, and he hopes to receive recognition from Lord Huaying. Fuyue walked up to Rijian, and at this point, the final work still needed to be carried out by him as the clan leader. After all, in name, he was the clan leader, and it was necessary to hide the secret of the clan leader for thousands of nights from the outside to prevent the old dog from biting people indiscriminately. Although Fuyue used to show weakness in front of Rijiao, Rijiao was particularly satisfied with today's performance of Uchiha. Fuyue's behavior was also respectful, which greatly pleased him and made him feel that Fuyue looked more pleasing to the eye. Very good, I am very satisfied with the rectification of the police department, and I hope Minister Fuyue will work harder in the future. The old face of the monkey flying sun slash was almost laughing like a chrysanthemum, and he walked into the Huaying building with joy, probably intending to take advantage of his good mood and continue to appreciate the beautiful scenery in the crystal ball. The formation of the police department also followed Qianya and Fuyue away, 
leaving only those who were still standing in place, praising and admiring the police department's Uchiha with those around them, wanting to join. What's even more outrageous is that some people are already thinking about how to marry or become part of the Uchiha clan Yuji Boatachi was in the dark, silently watching everything. Chinya's plan was carried out perfectly, and in just one week, it improved the relationships between many villages and families. Even Ape Flying Sun Slash was very satisfied. However, it's time to report all of this to Tuanzang now, after all, this old thief's hostility towards Yuzibo is much greater than that of Rijian. He needs to investigate Tuanzang's reaction. My figure gradually disappeared into the alley in the corner. Inside the base, Uchiha Itachi, wearing a white cat face mask from the base, half knelt in front of Tuanzang and reported on everything that happened from the village gate to the Hokage building. Tuanzang stood in front of Yukibo Itachi with crutches in his hands, a brand new white bandage tied to his right eye, and his head slightly raised, giving him a feeling of looking at people through his nostrils. Humph, Yuzibo must have ulterior motives. He must be plotting something. This evil clan couldn't have become so obedient just because Yuzibo Jishue died. Itachi, only you are different from other Uchiha. You and Jishue are ninjas who care about the village and inherit Uchiha Mirror. In the days to come, you need to gather more information about Yujibwa and report to me first. Ri Zhan is already old. He must have been deceived by Yujibwa's behavior. He has covered his eyes. Yes. After accepting Tuanzang's order, Itachi left as usual, but his thoughts changed in his heart. Nowadays, he only feels that Tuanzang's face is ugly and disgusting. Although the police department's rectification of Yujibwa does have a plan and purpose, it is entirely to ease the conflict between the village and the family. Tuanzang, no matter what he sees Yuzibo doing, always says a few words. He feels that Yuzibo has malicious intentions and is trying to harm the village. He even claimed to be the root of the wood leaf and wanted to protect it in the dark. It's really shameless, it's just a worm clinging to the trunk of the village tree. Constantly satisfying one's own desires. Leaving the roots and returning to the tribe, Itachi and Fuyue Jen Chenya spoke out the orders given by Tuanzang. Chenya instructed Itachi to leak all the surface intelligence to Tuanzang, in order to confuse their vision. Perhaps it could also allow the old duo of Ri Zhan and Tuanzang to relive the passion of their youthful confrontations.